after we've grown here for some time, all of a sudden we're hiring a lot of new employees and we got a lot of guys who know how to fix stuff. They're good at fixing stuff. But a lot of times you're in the shop working on something and you realize these guys have never, while they drive this chopper around the yard, they've never gotten to use it. Been doing this for 30 some years selling forage harvesters and it always bugged me that, you know, I'm probably one of the few people here that know how to go out in the field and actually use something or actually open up a field of corn. I mean, just little things like that that I take for granted that's a challenge for anybody else. I want some of my guys, especially my mechanics, to run this thing and learn how to operate, learn, learn what makes it tick so that when they're working on it, they appreciate the fact that you may want this to work differently and they don't know why you want it to work differently because they never run it themselves. When I go do demos, that was like, to me, I'd hook up my pickup band a chopper. I was pumped. I mean, I would, I would go around and do five, six demos in the county in a day. And you know, but then I come back to the shop and I expect everybody else to clean up my mess, right? And you expect, you come back to the shop, hey, can you wash this? We need to fix this, we need to adjust this. And a lot of times they didn't even know why I wanted all this adjusted, right? So I thought, I gotta figure out a way for my employees to do this. So this year, I thought about it long and hard how am I gonna do this I gotta find a farmer number one that we can go do it for and then I gotta figure out a way we don't have to impose on him that we can just so it worked out really good this year because we had two flegal wagons we got the Kloss tractor and the fast track and I also had a blade here, which I refused to sell to a customer because I, earlier in the year, this customer wanted to buy both that blade and another blade. And I said, no, you can't buy them both. And then of course, you kind of go, well, that's kind of weird. You're not gonna sell me the blade? I go, no, I need it for an event. I'm hoping to pull off yet. So we put the blade on a tractor and I'm going, now I can show up at somebody, spend the whole day. And, cause it takes time to put everybody in the operator seat. And, uh, and we can chop and then everybody gets a chance to drive the tractors and the, you know, it turned out really well. And the other challenge you have training new people to drive this big 600 horsepower mammoth chopper is the farmer kind of, and I get this, farmers kind of go, well, we don't mind you coming in and chop, but they already know what happens when you're training rookies. And if you can't get the, the guy blows corn all over the field because he doesn't have the spout in the right place, suddenly you can blow $100, $200 worth of silage on the ground just like that. I kind of had thought this through a lot, going, well, we can get this chopper, which is kind of cool, had autofill on it. That's what makes the autofill, the wagon autofill work. There's a camera mounted on there. And that is amazing. The, and, the, and Kloss is way ahead of everybody else on that. And there's a screen right up here in the cab. And you can be, the truck will come by and the spout will actually move as it recognizes the truck. The screen draws a red box around the truck box and boom, and it fills it better than you can manually. Without that feature, the wagon fill, employee days would have been a little tough. It's a very cool feature. It made employee days a lot easier to pull off. Disregard any part of the video that you see that where, where I'm holding on to the spot, I'm not moving the spot, just, just so you know that that was incorrect. But anyway, um, but the auto fill was cool and this chopper had auto steer. It's pretty cool. Kloss does a good job at that, and the, the fact that that works is really neat. It, it, it's them wands stick in the row. They, they're mounted on this thing right here. So that's where, that's where them wands are. That's what's making it auto steer. The light comes on, and it dings, and you know it's on. So now suddenly, if we get them pointed in the right row, and, the auto, and you click it on, it, it takes a lot of the you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It takes a lot of operator experience. That they don't have to be that experienced. They can drive this machine, this big 600 horsepower mammoth machine. So that was my whole goal of the day. It actually worked out very well. We did it at both stores. Um, it, was, it was a pretty cool experience. It was fascinating to me because when we came back to the store, I said, hey, there's a couple things we gotta do that corn head to get it to work a little better. And boom, they were all tuned in because they had ran it that day and, the, and they were actually out there when we had a feeding issue with it. Um, having the push-up tractor on the stack was 
cool because that's a new tractor for us. I'm pretty proud of getting that done. It was a good experience. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed seeing them all get a chance to run the machine. Have fun? Hit you a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Thankful to Roger Block and uh, the Block brothers, uh, well, they're all his kids. It, it's a neat family farm. For the guys that were there, they probably saw that firsthand. Uh, Roger Block, unfortunately, has cancer, and that's one of the reasons I, I wanted to do his place as well. Roger's been farming as long as I've been in the equipment business. He's about my age. But the fact that they just shut down that whole day or planned a day, the day we planned to be there. Unfortunately, Roger missed that day. He had to go in for treatment, so that was, but other than that, the whole family was there. They were very gracious. Uh, of course, they thought the reverse was true, and I go, no, the fact that we found a place to, that we could chop corn at was pretty neat, so. Um, then we had the RTVs out in the field there. We got to ride around and experience it, watch what's going on. Uh, and then Aaron DeBoer, uh, JR, uh, uh, they sold their cows, so he's just raising corn, and he bought a cloth chopper from us, brand new, they got a 940, so they, they were familiar with cloths. Roger Block's got an 830 cloth chopper, and he got a free repair out of us while we were there. It was kind of cool that a couple of our guys got to fix a wiring problem in his chopper while we were there, so that was nice too. But you know, both gracious hosts, Aaron DeBoer too, to let us take another field off because um, we ran out of corn was pretty neat, so worked out good. So, how long you been farming? <laughs> Not long. <laughs> The big eye opener from the event was how excited everybody was to get a chance to do this and and you know even the shop you know suddenly I said this is what we're going to try to do that you know first there's deer in the headlight looks and I'm going nope we just get it all hooked up and the, yeah, I don't care you're going to take the day off you know the kind of I did get popped with a couple of questions everybody kind of looks and go well I can't afford to take the whole day off I go no 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 no. Um, you're getting paid. This is for the benefit of our customers and our company that you guys know something about this equipment and, and know how it works. And I say, you know, some people try to go, well, I, I don't mind, but I don't want to drive it. I go, no, 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 you're all driving it. We're shoving you in that driver's seat. You're going to drive it. You know, you climb in a chopper that's worth three quarters of a million dollars and somebody's going to tell you to start chopping. That's kind of like, wow. Yeah, and then after doing this, I'm kind of going, we got to do this every year. And this has got to be a thing that Skolton's equipment does for the sake of our employees and our customers will benefit as well. And they get a chance to see stuff operate. So I'm hoping this summer we do it in grass. And I kind of got that figured out too, dialed in. And that may be even less stressful to some degree. Um, as you can tell in the videos, it was pretty dusty. So hopefully in the grass, it'll be nice clean. It'll be kind of more of a fun day. We, we, so kind of make it a Skolton equipment event. And, and then maybe we can expand that. The first day would still be an employee day. And then maybe if we grass thing turned out good, we could even run the baler or anything else. It would be good stuff to do. Yeah, Biggest takeaway was there was no hesitancy. Everybody wanted a chance to drive the chopper. And it gave them a true respect for the machine. I mean, suddenly they understood what this machine is able to do. Out of all the people here, there's probably only one person that's had opportunity to do that, and that's probably me, been me, right? So now they all had opportunity to do that, right? And uh, should have happened a long time ago, but we, we got it done. My anticipation was to, to give everybody an opportunity here to do something that I've always thought was fun, cool, and exciting. It ups your game. I mean, you, we're on the cutting, leading edge of technology. 
and a lot of people don't know that. I mean, that some of the technology I just described that these machines can do, there's no other field that does that. I mean, it, and for Kloss to be that far ahead and, and be on the forefront of developing that is really quite amazing. I like it. Well, you gotta get used to it, right? Yeah. Everything's different. The benefit was, is I don't think anybody's ever done it. I'm not bragging. The fact is, I know I've never seen anybody pull that off. I should have done it a long time ago, but it, it's unprecedented. And that, and the benefit was, is everybody was talking about it for days. I went down to Burlington the following week, and they're still talking about it. So that was kind of neat. I mean, they're still telling stories, and we even got Chad, of all people, Chad sat in a seat. He didn't want to get out of there, right? All right, sugar. Let's do this, Johnny. Let's do this thing. Yeah. It was it was it was nice to do, and to see everybody get involved. And and uh, now I'm looking forward to doing it again. I really am. Thank you.